In this video, I'm going to be covering everything that you need to know about EQ, coming up. Welcome to the Home Studio Academy, everybody. My name is Nolan Freitas, and my goal is to help you build your own home studio and teach you how to create professional sounding recordings from home. So today, we're going to be covering the basics of EQ. What is an EQ? What does it do? And how do we use it? So EQ is just short for equalizer. And what an EQ ultimately is, is a smart volume knob for certain frequencies. What an EQ does is either boost or cut frequencies. And the reason we use an EQ is to carve out the sound of our recordings. We wanna take away all the bad frequencies and the things we don't like and enhance the things we do like. In addition, what an EQ does is give separation to each instrument in the mix so they can all sit in their own space that way you'll have a balanced mix and the instruments won't be fighting over the same frequency range. So now I'm gonna jump into Logic Pro and pull up my stock EQ. Keep in mind that every single DAW has an EQ plugin, so just pick whatever one you have and follow along. So this is the stock EQ that comes with Logic Pro. And as you see here, the frequency spectrum goes from 20 Hertz as the lowest frequency, all the way up to 20,000 Hertz as the highest frequency and this is the human hearing range. And if we grab any of these dots and we bring them up, that means we're boosting all of these frequencies. If we bring that down, that means we're cutting the frequencies. With an EQ, you can either make it broader or narrower. If you make a narrow cut or a boost, you're only affecting a few frequencies. If you broaden it out, you will be affecting multiple frequencies. You can also use shelves, which are here at the end of the spectrum on the left and the right side. And you can use low pass filters and high pass filters. So if you bring it up like this, this is called a high pass, because as you can see, we're cutting all the low end and we're letting the highs pass through. And on the other end, that would be a low pass filter because we're cutting all the high end and just letting the lows pass through. Okay, now you know the basics of EQ, but let me show you how to actually use it. I'm gonna bring up an acoustic guitar here, and then we're gonna get started. Hey, real quick, question of the day. What is the DAW that you're using to record? Also, what is your favorite EQ plugin? Please let me know down below in the comments. Also, if you're getting any value out of this content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And now, back to the video. Let's have a listen before the EQ is engaged. Okay, so the guitar sounds good, but we can definitely increase the audio quality by cleaning up the guitar. And remember, the goal is to take away the bad frequencies and then to enhance what we like of the recording. So I'm gonna engage the EQ here, and I like using subtractive EQ first. And the way to do that is actually boosting the frequency pretty high and making the Q narrow. And then we're just gonna sweep around the spectrum here and we're looking for the worst sounding frequencies. Keep in mind that nothing's gonna sound great boosted this much, but you'll definitely be able to hear that some of the frequencies will jump out of the mix in a horrible way. So those are the ones we're looking for. So let's get started. Okay, so this sounds pretty bad, so I'm gonna bring it down and then make it a little wider. And I like cutting or boosting by 3 dB chunks. And now we're just gonna repeat the process. pretty bad. Okay, so those were the four frequencies that sounded the worst to me. What I like doing as well is using a high pass filter here about to 80 hertz or so because all this low rumble here is just background noise or air conditioning, or, and we really don't really need the low end on a guitar. Uh, that usually be taking place by the bass guitar or the kick drum. 
so we're good to just cut about 80 hertz or so. Okay, this should have cleaned up the mix a lot, and now we need to use additive EQ. And to do that, I'm actually gonna use the shelf this time because I know after recording and mixing so many acoustic guitars that I like a little bit of shimmer on the top end. So let's hear it in action. Since we did do four cuts and only one boost, I'm actually gonna bring up the gain a little bit by maybe one or two dB to make up for the volume loss. So let's hear it now. Before. And now after. And there you go, those are the basics of EQ. If you wanna learn more about how to get started with your home studio, I'll be putting that video card here on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in future videos.